Welcome back guys. So at the end of last episode we're just getting done with uh, building the rest of our defense. Just have a few areas to close off so let's just use a few minutes to do that. We only need to do it over here and over here. And after that um, we're going to start working on something one of my viewers uh, asked me to look at. And that's trying to beacon what's called uh, my production. Um, normally I don't use beacons. For some reason uh, I haven't really done it that much. So it's going to be fun trying to uh, play around with that and see if uh, we can get that up and running. One of the good things with doing it, especially in Angels, is that there's pretty much no downside because we have raw productivity modules which can just uh, yeah, pretty much do it for us. Oh, do it free of charge. So let's just close this area off. Let's see, we can just do it in here. That should be fine. Let's see. Here. And here. And then turn the last one this way. I think that should work. Just gonna land it for this little area here. And over here. And then place it down again. That should give us all we need to have this under control. Hopefully we can replace the robot port as well. Where is it at? Right there. And it seems it fits. Then we need one over here. So hopefully we can just landfill that down. Let's see. There we go. And that should give it power. So let's just get our robots to build that. You can see our wall down here is... Oh, I just love watching robots work. Just building in what we need. Oh, getting attacked by a few biters that's trying to get in. But that should be fixed very, very soon. But what I was talking about before with the beacons. I don't know why, but I haven't done it before. Even in vanilla. And for some reason I just kind of built bigger. But this time we're going to try with beacons. So let's clean out this little area. Give it some power from up here. And fill it in so we can get the the last few things sorted. And I'm quite happy with design with the rubber ports, just being able to do this, and all of it will always fit together as long as I remember to place it correctly. I can just expand my robot network and my power network extremely easily. Let's go a bit over this way. And close off this area. Let's see, piercing ammo. This wall might not fit everywhere, but that's something we have to look at some other time, maybe. This go here and just put in. We we'll have to go save a turret somewhere. No, right here and do. That and that. There we go. That should hopefully keep the biters out. These are just getting destroyed up here like always, so that's fine. This is defended. And soon everything is going to be closed off. So back to the base and start looking, starting to look some more at our science and uh, expanding that a lot. So here we go. Back to the base. And the robots will just uh, build the defense and hopefully they'll do it before they get attacked. If not, that's just the name of the game. But space construction is coming along nicely. This is also moving. So let's just set up 
beacon production and get in some raw productivity or raw speed modules. I'm quite sure we have no beacons yet. Oh, there's tiers of those as well. Do we have tier one? We don't. So let's set up beacons. We can do it right here. Do three of these. If I know how far they have to go, it shouldn't be too too far. But while we wait, I think the first thing we will start at is our science. Um, the set I'm going for is beacon on the top, then move this down one and beacon is the middle, and then one more row and see how that works. Where is it? That's right here being built. So let's see if we can't just do this one, two, three times. I don't know what the difference is between the beacons, but I'm guessing we will find out. So beacon one. One. Come on, little construction robots. They're probably all out here somewhere. Oh, that's outside logistic range. Oh well, that, that should be fine, hopefully. Since we have ammo and the rest, this is being built. Let's just do... Is there water or something here? It does, we can't place it. There is some water, but we can just landfill that in. There we go. And then we should be able to uh, get that up and running. But here we go. Beacons 1, 2, remember, top part of this, and 3. Let's see how much does this need. I think I have all of it, hopefully. Um, it seems like it's. Let's just get some of these to see. So beacon one. Here we are. Wonder if it just gives bigger range. And if or. Um, let's just see. Let's get a two and a three. There we go. So let's see the difference. Whoa, that's massive. And what about number three? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Can you beacon productivity? Let's just do a test. If you can do that, that might actually be quite insane. No. But probably speed. Let's try to request a few. Raw speed modules. Can you give me like 10 at a time would be nice. We should have quite a bit. And these gives 160 speed per one. Okay, let's just see what happens. Oh! Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see uh, some shenanigans uh, going on here in the future. Okay! Um, how fast are they gonna get from this? If we move all this down one, or how much the speakings need? The same area. Then we should be able to, or just do. How many can we fit on top of one of them? No, because they're, they're probably gonna be too fast for our. Uh, what's it called? To keep up. So if we do this for now, let's just try this beacon here and fill it with speed modules. Okay. <laughs> um, I think one might be enough for now. If we just do one here, let's see, that covers exactly that. 
Does that mean we can do one more that covers from here to... Oh, let's do it from this side and see if we can't fit it all in. Do one here. Cut this one. It fits to there. Then we can do one that's right here. Or to be honest, right here will uh, we'll cover them all. To be honest, we can probably do with two beacons. I think more might be overkill. Or is it overkill? Let's just request some beacons. Because I completely forgot to take some. I don't need for that anymore. Just give us some speed modules. Here we go. So, if these is taken by this one right here, and do one right here, then we're only using one beacon on each just for uh, for now because I'm not quite sure how this is gonna affect it to be honest if it's just gonna go completely mad let's request some more that's gonna burn through a lot of products same here let's help this out And just say, let's remove these two here and see how one row of each does with just one beacon in it. Go over here. We did it on the third. Let's do it on the third as well here. Just for now. There. And here. Give it some power. Oh, missing power as well. Let's do this for now. And say request a ton or more. Oh, guys, I'm getting so giddy by the speed. No idea if this can keep up. Look how much it's requesting. That's quite. I'm so glad uh, my subscriber said that. Uh, for next time, I'll figure out what his name is because, uh, wow, this is uh, it's <laughs> bloody, bloody brilliant. This might be a good chance to expand our science production. This can't keep up. So let's check on our assembly machine production before we beacon uh, everything massively. So might just make a new one to be able to keep up because I can't remember where the old one is to be honest. It's somewhere in here. But let's just do it down Oh, in here for now. Um, copy paste this, just right here. We probably can't use. Uh, let's see on that. Nope, no beacons on that. But we might want to beacon all this as well. No, because these can't keep up anyway, so th there's pretty much no reason to beacon this. Because uh, it takes way too much... Uh, Purpose for now. I also have to get better stack inserters. Let's see. Express Turbo. Ooh, ultimate filter. I don't want this one, the ultimate inserter. Okay, our oh, ultimate s stack one here. Let's make those. I don't think we can ever have too many. 
So let's just use our Fusion React to set up right here and say change, change. What we have right now is just fast. So we need three more. One, two, three. I like to get express stack inserter. I like to get turbo. And I'd like to get ultimate. I don't know if this will keep up with the speed of whatever or science and whatnot is producing, but I hopefully can. This is still just missing productivity. So let's get some of these. Oh, 18, that was easy to make. And let's just check it out. Yes. And we should probably start to beacon gear, gears as well. Should make gear cell. Also, just make a beacon uh, factory. And let's just clear this out. You can go away. Check we still have power to this. We do. So, beacons, more things. Um, should I move this up one here to the right or do beacons in between so we have rows of something and then we have beacons that might be cool how many can fit yeah so we have it right here so if we do it there give it some power Give it some speed modules. Just give me 20 of you so I have a bit on me. That means all of these are now, now beaconed and extremely fast. We might even not even need this many anymore. Let's try to get you away. And just say you request a ton more because you are a lot faster now. get some power you are at least um how much room do we have we can move it over once we have the power next to it and doesn't take up room or we can do the power to the right of it so always to the right we put the power that should make these way faster not able to put it in fast enough or let's just give it some more stacking and yeah, turbo, turbo inserters or ultimate even. Let's see if we do that. That it can still can't take him out fast enough. Wow, that's pretty, pretty insane. At least now it's going in fast enough. It's just not going out fast enough. But that's, that's fine. We're limited by our inserters. We can always do another output if that. Also, just do one more row of these if uh, this is not enough. But I think it is. Let's do a copy of this and make what's it called? Gear. Gears here. Can we make this like a more size maybe? We'll probably try that for now. So, gear wheels. Request what I'll call a ton. 4.4. This is pretty much for the users in 30 seconds. And it's for hopefully fast enough. Let's see as soon as it's clears out. I'll define that as fast enough. So let's remove all the gear wheels being produced in base. Oh, it's gonna be nice getting all this cleaned up. Look how slow it is. Oh, I'm so happy somebody uh, 
wanted me to do uh, beacons. I never expect them to be that insane. Oh, remember to get the power here again. At least until we get it sorted. So it's pretty much time to make a beacon uh, mass production of a lot of things. Oh, that's cool. That's very, very cool. I just keep the science like this for now. Or maybe divide it up in two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we do two on each side, it should be able to handle that. Yeah, let's uh, let's do a setup below this where we try it out. Um, just copy this down here. I do a trusty normal blueprint. That's clean. So if we do one beacon, one on room, and one, then we can do. Uh, one right here, do one and that, and a beacon. Will that be able to fit if we do it like... Can this be a new beacon set up with one extremely overpowered beacon? I think, it, I think it's quite cool. So here, oh. Stupid, stupid me. Get your way, but I think that will work to be honest. I think that's gonna be quite cool to do there. And if we then do a beacon, where's it at? Right here, and the power pole right there, and then do the same setup over here. To it directly up like that. We can spin this one around so it fits right there. Of course, get the power poles in the middle to align it up so it looks nice. And then one right there. I think that's quite a good beacon setup. We have room to expand it a lot more, but we won't, um, what's it called? completely do things. So if we upgrade all this, of course we can't. But we can do from here, we can also do from the first one to the last one. So let's try this. And of course do from where is it at fast stack sort of to Ultimate, ultimate stacking soda, and from the first one as well, and from that one to ultimate stacking soda. Let's just try this. Upgrade that to give all of it a massive upgrade. That is perfect. We should throw in speed beacons in these. Here and here. And this could pretty much be our science setup. Of course, do the same on the other side. Is it in the middle? Pretty much in the middle. I think it's quite good. Um, if I do this one down here can pretty much align it. So there we go. Let's check out these for now. So I have a clean blueprint for this setup. And I'll do it like this since it's beaconed. Oh this is gonna this is gonna be good. Let's get a clean blueprint for this. So we have something to align it for. There we 
go and into a blueprint book with this one. Right there. It means over here we can just... Oh, yeah, we just have to line it like that. Oh, it has to be one to the right. One to the right would be better, to be honest. So if we move the power pole one to the left over here. Let's see. Right there. That should align a lot better. Oh! <laughs> Thank God I had it copied. So align it right there. Move this power pole over one. Here we go. And then we'll do a new blueprint. Not you, but we'd like to do that. And in. Yeah, that's good. That means that now we should do it over here. Clean this, clean this up. And put in. Take you away. Yeah. And place down this little blueprint a bit down where it looks good. It looks quite good right here. Then we'll just put in some speed modules. Forgot to put in productivity. So let's just do that and save the blueprint again. Some more is going to get delivered. There we go. Do that. And this is our new blueprint. A bit down. Fits inside. So let's fix it one last time, hopefully. Right here. And remove those two. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, then we can make whatever we want in these, uh, in this setup. And to be honest, we need to remember the science before we forget. That would be very bad. So, yeah, let's do the four here. We can always remove what we don't need for now. Remember the chest, that's good. Do you want the same on the science? Might be good getting a whole row since uh, that's kind of what we need now. And if they can empty one of these, it's fine. We fill up two of them. So power is good. Power is connecting, it seems, everywhere. Yeah. So let's start from, a, from the end. Science. Uh, science, science, science. Yellow. Red. Military. Blue. And then we'll remove this over here and put down that and continue it over. Let's see if we just do that. Place down our trusty blueprints. And I forgot, don't tell me I forgot to make it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, good, good. I thought I was going uh, crazy right there. But then again, there's quite a lot in R. So right, come on, empty these for items. Oh, there's so many things in them. But luckily we have robots to help us out. You can do that. Go, go, go. So, blue. Let's see the next one. Purple. Go one. That's purple. That's pink and then purple. And then we go green. And we can remove the last one here. That's not needed yet. So, let's just see how this goes. if this will work, because then we have a massive amount of science being produced.
Let's see how fast this go. Hmm. It goes <laughs> at a decent speed. Um, I think we're gonna see some bottlenecks quite soon. What can't keep up? Here's the solid fuel and whatnot. So this is gonna give us uh, something. Wow, that is just insane. That kind of means we have to expand our science production as soon as we fix solid fuel. But I think that's gonna <laughs> gonna be the end for this because well, that's just uh, that's just crazy. Yeah, that that's all I can say about that. So if you like uh, insane production speeds, please uh, like subscribe. I'm uh, I'm extremely happy with this. I don't know if it's the best setup. But it's what we're using right now because we can always put down more. But uh, to be honest, I'm not sure that our factory can keep up with faster speeds than this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.